Uh, so Cloudflare have released uh, a new service and it's defined as encrypted server name indications and it plugs a gap in TLS where the TLS connection gives away the name of the server while it's negotiating. If we have a look at the uh, a connection here, so there's a SYN, SYNAC and ACK, we see that we're on port 443 here. So this is the client sending a connection request to the server and it, it, uh, acknowledging it. Next we see uh, a client hello. So the client hello is sent from the client, from the browser to the server and it basically defines the cipher suites which the browser or the client can actually accept. So here are some of the details here. We can see here we have 28 cipher suites that uh, this browser can actually uh, support in here. Okay, so there they all are there. So we have elliptic curve, Diffie-Hellman, RSA, uh, AES uh, for, the, for the tunnel, CBC, and SHA-1 for the uh, hashing method. So the server then sends back a, a hello and will actually uh, lock down on the cipher to be used. But within inside uh, one of these extensions, we can see here the server name. So the server name is here, and we can see here within the name here, there's 15 characters. Uh, the server name is actually defined. So we can see within the data packet that's sent before the encryption happens, before the tunnel, that anyone listening to the communications can pick off the actual name of the domain that we're connecting to. So that's the client hello. And then if we look at the server hello, so the client sends that off uh, and then the server responds back. The, the server hello actually defines what the cipher is that, we're, that we'll be using for the connection. And We'll just find it here. Okay, so it's picked off. The server has defined that of the 28 ciphers we saw, it's going to use TLS, RSA, uh, encryption with uh, three DES, CBC with uh, SHA. Uh, within here, because we're using the RSA, we'll find that there is a, an, an encrypted key that goes back from the client to the server that needs to be used. Okay, so that's how uh, the uh, TLS uh, leaks out information. So along with this, uh, Cloudflare are also focusing on other problems such as secure DNS, uh, DNSSEC, and the upgrade to TLS 1.3. So if we actually see what the result is, so this is our Cloudflare uh, packet capture here using TLS 1.3. And we can see here the server name is clearly identified. But now if we look here, if we use this encrypted SNI, we can see there is an encrypted version of the server name, so it's not possible for somebody snooping on the connection to actually see that. Okay, in this case, you can see here there are 18 cipher suites, and the one that's been selected is defined here. So we're using TLS, AES, GCM, and SHA-256.